In honor of Halloween, I'm gonna declare today's edition of this video the trick or treat edition. And what does it mean in terms of the markets? Well, we've been talking a lot in recent videos and I've indeed been making lists specifically which kind of stocks that we like into year end and we're gonna be risk managing those in real time with Clubhouse members. We haven't really talked about what the, what the risks might be. And very specifically, the question now is whether we're gonna get a treat, whether the market's gonna melt higher into year end equities and various other parts of the market or is the market going to play a trick on us? And there's a couple of very specific things that we're looking for to see what the risk might be of a trick. And one in particularly, one particular chart that I'm seeing a lot of uh, smart money managers looking at as a potential clue for a push higher into the market. So the question is if this could happen next. So the one chart that I've seen a lot of smart money people talk about of late that they're looking at to see if we can see potential further upside into year end in US equities is that of the Russell 2000 or small capitalization stocks. Right now from a technical perspective, just for a moment before we get into the more crucial things, we have the Russell 2000 consolidate here very nicely, you can see on my screen. And the potential here is, if history is any guidance at this kind of pattern, we label this as a bull flag pattern in technical analysis world, ultimately will resolve higher. But you know, we t you know that technical analysis and most other analysis is only as good as the context within which it is placed. So we have to understand a little bit what's going on here, broadly speaking. Important to understand is that in order to get this move potentially right, whether it is to the upside or maybe maybe we do get the trick played by to us, it really has to do with bond yields, at least in part. And you can see that bond yields, basically the rally in bond yields has for the most part coincided very nicely with the rally that we've seen in the Russell 2000. There are some reasons for that, including the fact that financials, which tend to rally with a increase in bond yields are a big part of the Russell 2000. Other parts here all are also energy stocks, which have been rallying as well. But the point here is that a lot of people in the smart money field are putting a lot of weight on the Russell 2000, potentially having another leg higher. From where I sit, the biggest risk here is that if we, if we see a disappointment, if the, in other words, if this rally doesn't manifest and we actually see a meltdown, that will most likely also take place with a meltdown or a push lower at least in bond yields, which in turn could also get the financial stock to stop moving higher. And from a risk off perspective, ultimately we could even see something like Amazon and Apple starts to or stop going higher into year end because they've rallied so strongly so far. In other words, if you want to look at this through the lens of seasonality, if we look at the S&P 500 for a second, we tend to see some spike in volatility, at least one of them in the months of September and October. As of right now, today, it is October 31st and Halloween, and we haven't seen any uptick in volatility at all. So from that perspective, one question worth asking, and this is not my base case, but one question worth asking, is the market gonna play a trick on us and has most of the year on move already taken place? And I think the Russell 2000 and bond yield, among other things, are going to be a very key thing to watch out for, for signals, for clues, that a year-end rally may not take place and we don't get the treat, but rather that the market plays a trick on us. Now, again, this is not my base case, but this is what I'm looking for to see if the market's going to play a trick on us or whether we do get the year-end treat that we tend to get on average.